So, so next up, our special guest this week, which our, our um, I gotta tell you, our YouTube channel has been blowing up. It's been blowing up the last few weeks, or last week especially since our since our guest put out a, a video that says, "Hey, just check out these guys. I'm going to be doing this interview here in a week or so." And suddenly, everybody and their mother uh, was on our channel. So first off, thank you. But second, Mr. Mike Gervin, yeah. Mr. Slain Excel Dragons, Mr. Array Formulas, Mike Gervin, the guy who has over 2,000 some uh, YouTube videos, all that. Mike, would you mind saying hello and let everybody see your face instead of seeing that, that cartoon we're used to seeing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, hello. Uh, all the way from Des Moines, Washington, which is near Seattle, Washington at Highline Community College where I teach. Right. Hey, hi. Right. Yes, welcome, welcome. Now, is this welcome happening during a class? <laughs> you know, this is basically the greatest invention in Excel in the last 50 years. Well, wait a second. Excel's only been around for 30, what, 25 years, right? But Excel TV, this should have been invented a long time ago. Uh-oh. Yes, it should. Yes, it should. I like that. But here we are now. So, so I mean, Mike, what else would you, you mind watch Saturday night besides watch XL TV? This is it. This is it, nonstop. <laughs> right. So, so Mike, would, would you mind uh, telling everybody a little bit about your, uh, I don't know, a little bit about your story? Uh, how did how did your YouTube channel start off before it turned into this big juggernaut? How did you evolve from a, uh, I, I guess, um, teaching at Highline Community College to uh, to being this YouTube star on Excel? How did that all come about? Uh, a lot of hard work. Um, just started back in 2008, posted a bunch of, I noticed that there were some Excel videos next to the cat videos at YouTube. And I said, nice. well, I, I was already making Excel videos yeah. for my statistics class at Highline, but they weren't at YouTube. So I decided to post some videos. And it kind of started to steamroll. I started to create playlists of videos. And I started in 2009, I think, is when I started to put my Highline class videos. Uh, and just put a lot of time and effort into creating the videos, creating the workbooks so all the workbooks are available, uh, notes for, for all the tricks, um, you know, spent a lot of time editing and uh, I guess just a lot of time and a lot of effort. So, so you, you know, um, I know you, you've written a book on array formulas, and, and I believe that Oz is on record during the, I mean, it was the Chan Du interview. Chan -Du. Uh, we had Chan Du on here uh, as saying that, you know, there are things that freak people out about Excel, and I think Oz is on record as saying the thing that freaks him out is array formulas. Oz, do you have any questions for the guy who's written the book on array formulas? <laughs> A, a, direct, a, a direct question, no. I just, um, while well, we started communicating because I went to order the book um, and uh, found out that it was like two months back ordered because there was some corrections that need to be made. But it's just interesting that once in a while I'll go on a forum and ask for help and then an array formula solution will come back. And um, I'll use them, but they just kind of kind of weird me out. Yeah, it's just so you're doing some operation on instead of one item, you're doing an operation on a bunch of items, and the result spits out a bunch of answers. That's kind of what makes an array formula. But uh, array formulas are like anything. You know, you took your time to learn certain aspects of coding and Excel. If you took the time, you'd, you'd get array formulas, too. So that's why I wanted to get the book, is to just take a deep breath and dive in. You know, and, and I wrote the book about array formulas, but uh, there are people that are hundreds of times smarter than me about array formulas out there. The only reason I wrote a book is because there wasn't a book. So I kind of looked out there and, and tried to gather what things uh, were known about array formulas and then did some tests and and try to put it together in a book because you can't go to Excel help really and and find out a lot about array formulas right and you know in the beginning part of my book I thank all the people especially at the Mr. Excel message boards people like Aladdin and Dominique and Don Quixote and 
PGCO1 and on and on. There's so many amazing, uh, much smarter people than me that I learned array formulas from. Right. So, but it's like anything, Oz, you know. You jump in, you start doing it, you get it. Hard work. That's right. Yep, that's right. So do you remember your first your first array formula that, that got you into the whole thing? Uh, pretty much. It was a, a data extraction formula. So one of the common problems in Excel is if you look something up and you want to return multiple items, yeah, there's no built-in function for that. So you have to switch to array formulas. And uh, again, it was Aladdin and Dominique and a few others who helped me with my first array formula, and uh, that that was it. It took me a lot of hard work because I'm not the smart. I'm not a smart guy. I just uh, can work hard, and so learning array formulas was hard for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, and and I know that uh, that you you've said to me that that you don't do VBA code, right? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I know how to uh, record macros and right. hack the heck out of them. I use a lot of VBA, but yeah. I'm not a code writer. Right, right. And, and um, you know, I appreciated knowing that, that nobody knows everything or has had felt compelled to. So I'm wondering, how did you wind up feeling compelled to go in an array formula direction versus a VBA direction? Or was it simply there are no uh, array formula books and there are tons of VBA books? Well, I'm, you know, I'm doing mostly st st statistics and finance and accounting, and uh, you know, there's a lot of calculations in those arenas where you have to do array formulas. Okay. And and data extraction formulas where I wanted to automate things, and formulas work because you change the cell, you know, and the formula instantly up updates and right so so what do you call data extraction uh, you have a data set and you have some criteria and well so if you're extracting data you don't want all the data you want just some of it so you have a set of criteria right lots of times people say filter so if cr criteria you, have, you, you put some criteria in it limits the number of the records and then you get them and you put them somewhere else right That's, right that's data extraction. Well, what I'm thinking about is, um, okay, so there's, uh, so there's filtering. Then you have your right, left, mid, lin, uh, all of those, those text functions, right? So I'm trying to narrow it down when you say data extraction. That could be like a thousand cells, and you need to fish out the contents in ten. Or you could be talking about like when you break things out of a PDF file, and sometimes you've got ten contacts in one cell with their addresses, and you want to just get the zip codes out. So uh, yeah, when I said data extraction with array format, I was thinking you have a proper data set with a proper data set with records, and mm -hmm. you want just some of them. Uh, there's lots of array formulas for our. Uh, non-array formulas and array formulas where you're extracting data from a cell like len and min and all those okay so yeah some of those too okay okay all right so yeah so, so i'm looking forward to uh the book being updated so i can expand off into that territory so because it is as, fascinating as someone who works in array formulas what is your feeling on that error that happens when you try to change an array formula and it pops up and says you can't change that. What's your feeling? Is that the worst error ever? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, let me see here. Only you, you know what? Better. I should probably show you. Let's see here. You can't Let's change do... an array. Oh, oh, so. Yeah, you know, when no, you no, do no, a control I got shift you. After, I got you. In, enter. When you enter, so there's, there's, different ways to classify array formulas. One is a single cell where you're you're getting a single answer. There's other array formulas that deliver multiple answers and you want to deliver to multiple cells. So in that case, when you control shift enter, you cannot change just part of or you can't just change one of the cells. You have to change them all. So when you enter, so an array formula at its essence makes an array calculation and returns multiple items 
when you have those multiple items, you can do an aggregate calculation on them, which means the array formula will go into a single cell. Or you can have the array formula deliver multiple items to multiple cells, and that's where you get that error. Right. Well, that's uh, where, it, when, what, it's what entered, you're, <laughs> when it's entered, you're entering a single item, even though it's displaying in multiple cells, so you're not allowed to change it. Right. Well, what happens is I want to resize it. I want to make it smaller. So you can, you know, you can grow it, and then you try to make it smaller, and then you got to get rid of the whole thing and start over. That part I hate. But outside of that, I love array formulas. I mean, I love doing um, those types of control shift enter formulas on a on a large swath of, of data. And like you said, you know, a lot of people are very VBA focused, but the formula focus is really um, it's really strong. Yeah. I re I really like it for uh, Excel products. Um, because you can make one change and everything is updated automatically. So that's yeah. really one that's way to prefer and, them. And not all array formulas require control shift enter. The definition of an array formula is not that it requires control shift enter, it's that there is an operation on an array of items and when you evaluate it, it delivers multiple items. So I mean there's lots of wonderful array, really complicated array formulas where you just hit enter or control enter not control shift enter. Huh. Wow. And then you cover that in the book. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. And which so, books are those just so just for our audience? Say that again? So which books are those uh, for the audience so after they watch this they're spellbound uh, spell by you and they say I want to go out and get that book. Uh, which books are those? You mean the one that that's the one. This one right here? Yeah. This is the good one. And it, it, the, the subtitle there, there's lots of things about advanced formulas that are not array formulas. So the subtitle there says a bunch of other stuff also. So it's advanced formulas with lots about array formulas. It's good stuff. This is a really good book. Everyone should go out and get it. Yeah, I want to get it. Learn a lot. And by the way, um, Eric Ziola says uh, thanks to Mike for sharing his knowledge with the community. Yeah. Woo Woo yeah. <laughs> and uh, Crystal Long, uh, I think she has the answer to the challenge. And um, Isaac Gervin says that he doesn't have to go to bed. <laughs> oh, my son's <laughs> watching in Seattle. Oh, okay. Nice. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, give him a shout out. Woo! Yeah, Isaac. <laughs> hey, by the way, Isaac has four Excel videos posted at YouTube. Oh, he, oh wow. He, he did one when he was three, four, five, and six. Wow. 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 He's going to have to post those links underneath this then. <laughs> he's going to awesome. take all our jobs. You start them that young. They're going to they're gonna just be Excel wizards. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, so Mike, could, could you talk a little bit about about um, how did you go about finding a publisher, or, or as you were going making the videos to writing your first book, what did that process look like for you? Well, um, I was just having fun at YouTube, and the Mr. Excel contacted me because he was having fun with videos too. So we were a natural combo, and so we started making dual videos. And he said, "Hey, you want to write a book?" And I said, "Sure." Um, I'm not very good at writing. I can't spell. I can't type. <laughs> so I'm not really a good book writer. It's it's difficult and painful for me. Uh, you know, I like organizing the ideas in the slain book, you know, a basic book, and then the control shift enter an advanced book. It was fun to organize things and so you you know you could understand it, but the actual writing of it was was near torture to me. Mm, mm. All right, <clears throat> but I want to go back um, to before we went on the air talking about why you did started the videos, and we were talking about how you know people are in college and they're learning all this sophisticated stuff and and using the software that the college has. And then they get out and they get their job in the small marketing firm, and there is no math lab or whatever. There's Excel, and they don't know Excel. Yeah, so before I started uh, posting videos at YouTube, I, I was making videos 
and posting them on our college website for how to do statistics in Excel. And I teach basic finance, statistics, accounting, math. And the whole time I've been teaching, my goal has always been to teach all of those in a computer lab using Excel. Because in finance and accounting, uh, some math and, and all statistics, when you get out there, you're required to do it in Excel. So if you're a teacher, your innate duty is to prepare the student to, to work out in the working world. So you got to teach the stats and the Excel. And so that's what I've been doing uh, for all the years I've been teaching. And that was the impetus eventually to go to YouTube and put all my classes there because YouTube was the best way to deliver the video lectures to the students. Mm -hmm. All right. But, but you know, Mike, as I as we were talking to to quite a few people that we've interviewed, um, for example, I, I interviewed Bob Umless at one point, and, and he mentioned you as well. And and certainly when we talk with Minda Tracy, she mentioned this as well, uh, which is the dueling podcast that you do with Mr. Excel. Uh, that's that's pretty popular, and a lot of people bring it up. Uh, would you mind talk about how that came about, and uh, and and just for the people who might not be aware of it, kind of explain what it is. Um, again, I was posting videos. Oh, well, so the number one influence in my life is Bill, Mr. Excel, Jellin. The second biggest influence is the Mr. Excel.com forum, right, where Aladdin and Dominique and all those guys are. But Mr. Excel, while I was, you know, learning Excel, reading his books, watching his videos, that's where I got the idea to post videos. It was all from Mr. Excel. So I started posting videos, and then he had already been doing it for a long time, so he noticed me and contacted me. And again, we just had a natural fit. We had so much fun together. So the duel is where there's a question, and then he solves it one way, I solve it another way. And sometimes we go back and forth, and it, it's, it's just amazing fun. It's the highlight of my week each week to do the duel. Mm. Oh, nice. But really, you know, all of us, you guys, me, uh, so XL TV, uh, XL is fun, all of the other amazing YouTube channels and videos about Excel, it's all because of Mr. Excel yes. and yeah, his absolutely. first podcast. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. Thanks, Bill. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, true. Good. We're going to leave the for all of us, so. We're all humble. That's right. Of his. Yeah. Well, well, I think that's a great way to end the segment uh, with a homage to Bill. 